Tanko Bear Cobra Tech Repair. I'm still getting over a little bit of a chest cold sinus infection thing I got going on here. But I have another case review here. This is the Horus from Raid Max, courtesy of RaidMax.com. They sent me this as a review copy. You can see the box did get a little bit damaged in shipping. But what can you expect from UPS? Um, here on the back of the case, you can see it tells you it has 300 millimeters of space. Tools installation, the, the stuff you'd expect from a normal case. Here on the side, we have three five and a, five and a quarter inch drive bays. We have three three and a half HHD slash two and a half inch SSD racks. We have a standard ATX seven expansion slots that can fit a micro, micro ATX, mini ATX, or regular ATX board. Also on the front I.O. panel, we have one USB 3.0, one USB 2.0, and your two audio sources, which are most likely your mic and your speakers. Now this is a new case to the market. Um, they told me they just released this to market, and they sent it to me for a review copy because they liked my review of the Vampire case, which is now my main gaming case. And I'm really liking Raidmax as a computer case manufacturer. Um, I have never used them in the past until my latest video. Set the box over there for good measure. Ow. Um, Came packaged all right. As you can see, this is a mid tower case. I believe you can pick this up anywhere from sixty to thirty dollars, or sixty to forty, I believe. As you can see, it's relatively light. It's twelve pounds. It's a mid tower case. But you can see right here on the front. We have a, actually a pretty cool design. I like the design up here. Um, okay, everything's actually here on the side, so let me turn it over here. This is my first time seeing this case, so. All right, looks like we have your power button here. You have your reset button below that. You have your USB 2.0 header right there. And you have a USB 3.0 header with your mic and speaker outputs here. It seems that this, yes it does. The front cover right here slides open. You can see your three five and a quarter inch bays, which are supposed to pop out the other way, but of course didn't. There we go, that's what's supposed to happen. But it didn't quite do what I wanted it to do. All right, so. These covers here are all plastic. The chassis itself is steel, I believe, but this whole front panel here, it's plastic. But if you do want to use some optical drives, you will have to pop this open to use them. All this fascia down here is plastic with some wire mesh. Here on the side, we do have an actual side window here, which I wasn't expecting. Looks like you can fit a so here on the side you have your smoke side panel you have support for a 120 millimeter fan here in the side here on the rear of the case you have three ports for water cooling if you decide to do external water cooling it's very very small though uh, seven expansion slots here on the top you have room for two 120 millimeter fans I believe one 140 millimeter or a, um, a 240 rad will be able to fit up there on the top. You see this rear panel is pushed out. It does say that this can support the 300 millimeter long graphics cards, which is about the size of a GTX 780. Take out the thumb screws here. All right. So we go off the side panel with a little bit of work. Uh, 
you can see the rear of the side panel here. Just like that. It is a little flimsy, but this is for your entry level gamer, entry level or intermediate level, who has some prior knowledge of building. Yes, okay, so this is a 120 millimeter fan in the back, but I guess you could put like an 80 millimeter fan back here if you really needed to. Um, I know that's a 120 because I have my Corsair fan sitting over there. There one's the screw, which I'll have to find eventually. <sighs> my voice is going. Um, let's see, here on the inside, we have a 3 HDD base, just go in and out. They lock in and out of place. You have your hard drive base down here, which are also plastic, that can fit SSDs. Uh, for your fan controller, for a cheaper case, it does have an actual sleeved fan controller. It's a 3-pin or Molex, whichever you choose. It comes pre-installed with some brass motherboard mounts which are in the ATX configuration. Well, like I said, this does fit a micro ATX case. We have our bundle of goodies here, which is zip tied. See what comes in it? Well, here, there's some Velcro for cable management. We have some zip ties, some washers, some, H or some hard drive screws, and some other board screws, as long as, as well as a couple extra standoffs. We have an external speaker for your posting sounds. Plug into your motherboard. And of course, if you've never built a computer before, if you're buying this, it's probably be your first built computer, you have your user's guide how to install everything all right here, ready to go. Now, let's take off the back of the case. A lot easier. All right, so, I'm, I'm not sure exactly why they went with the extended Part of the case back here but it seems to be just to make more room for cable management because there's very little clearance here so I guess that just helps make room for cable management easier all of your front panel connectors here just like in their higher end cases are all um, sleeved you have your blue USB cable which I wish they would make that black and just leave the tip blue. It really, it hurts a lot of case designs, but it's not really something you can bitch about with a case. If you're looking for a case this cheap, you have all your front panel connectors, which are sleeved, and they're actually all tied together, which is very nice. You have your front USB header, your HD audio, and your um, USB 3.0. Here on the back, just like the other cases, you have mounting brackets so that you can zip tie cables down any way you like. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for this case. I mean, it, it's an entry-level gaming case. I said it's not the most solid construction in the world, but what this is made for is the entry-level to intermediate-level gamer who wants to build their own rig and has no prior experience. Like I said, this front fascia here is plastic. But, for the price, you can't really say very many bad things about it. It seems that this bottom part here, on the bottom here, it does come with a, remo a removable mesh that you can take off to be able to clean for your uh, power supply to keep dust out of your power supply. I like that. You don't see that very often. You do usually see it in a slide-out fashion. But you normally do not see it to where it just clips into the bottom like that. Like I said, this is for your value-oriented gamer. If you're one of, if one of your children are wanting to get into gaming, or hell, even if you want to build a computer for your grandpa and he wants to game, this would be a way to go. 
It has little rubberized feet here on the bottom. It has a bunch of different mounting ports down here too. I'm not sure what you want to mount down there. But as I said, this case is very, very light. It comes in at 12 pounds. So let me get this all put back together and I'll do a final review. All right guys, so I did a little bit of research here and this does fit ATX and micro ATX boards. Your intake for your fan, you have a 120 on the side and there is an optional 120 millimeter blue LED fan that goes in the front, which this one does have, I believe. In the rear, you have a 120 exhaust or it supports a 120 millimeter radiator such as the H60 model for your CPU. And here on top, you can have two 120 millimeter fans for exhaust or intake or one 140. Or you could have a small rad up here, I believe. Something small would fit up there. Um, and yes, this back design here is pushed out a little bit, so keep that in mind. That is to keep cable management a lot easier. Um, all in all, this case it literally just hit the market. It's the Raid Max Horus case. It comes in right around 50 bucks. There's not a whole lot of spectacle to see here. I mean, it's pretty much what you would expect out of an entry level gaming case, but it does have some cool features. I mean, in most entry level gaming cases, you won't see the smoke side panel. You won't see USB 3.0 as a front port option. You usually do not have any radiator support in an entry level case. But for $50, if you're just getting into computer building or you know somebody who needs a cheap chassis to build a computer in that is in the micro ATX or the ATX form factor, I recommend the Raid Max Horus gaming case. All right, guys, this has been Tan Colbert with Colbert Tech Repair. I hope you enjoyed today's unboxing and review of the Horus Gaming Case. If you liked, give it a like. If you didn't, please feel free to give it a dislike. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment down in the comment section down below. You can find me here on YouTube. You can find me on Twitter at TanColbert92. You can find me on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Colbert Tech Repair. See you guys next time.